Welcome to GIS Madras. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download Basin's Basin Boundary and River Shapefile using HydroSheds. Open your browser and just type in HydroSheds and hit the button search. And you can see the first link HydroSheds. So I'll be giving this link in the description. You can just check it out. So click on the first link. So here, this is the home page and they have a lot of information about this data sets and what type of products is being provided. So here you can find the option explore the data, hit the button explore data and now once again select the hydro sheds. So after selecting hydro sheds, you can find the information about these products and what type of data has been used to derive this basin's boundary and how they are getting the river shape file or River shape file or geo database so they are using SRTM data sets and if you want to know more about this uh, just come down and you can see the technical documentation you can just check it out and uh, how they are processing the data everything will be available so this is a freely available data sets you can easily download it so first of all let us see how to download the uh, hydro basin uh, shape file that is basin boundary so click on the hydro basins and after clicking on the hydro basins, just come down. And you could see the hydro basins continental downloads. Here you can download it uh, based on the continent wise. So here you can see, uh, you can see, uh, you can directly download it uh, continent wise. For example, if I want to download Asia, you can directly click on the option Asia and download the uh, continent so you can just click on the option download uh, what uh, uh, continent you want you can just download the uh, basins for the continents so I'm going to download it for Asia so let me click on the option downloads so once you uh, click the downloads you can see here the download has been started so it is around 359 MB and it is for the complete Asia so after downloading it let us see it in QGIS how this data looks like so now let us uh, get this uh, data downloaded and we just move on to the uh, downloading hydro river so uh, the simple options you can see on the top itself you can find the option hydro rivers we just have to click on the hydro rivers after that just come down you can see some uh, information about this data here you can just check it out and you can see here hydro sheds length with a uh, reflex river size so come down you can see this data has been given in a geo database as well as it's been given in shape file so here also it has been given in continents wise you can download it for whichever continent so i am going to download it for asia click on the option download so the download will be starting within few seconds so you can see here for me the basin file has been successfully downloaded now you can see the river file has been downloaded too so it will be finished within few seconds and the data uh, the download speed is uh, really uh, good so you could see here that uh, the rio shape file has been downloaded as well so let me open the qgas so for us uh, let's uh, let us uh, see it in the folder so you can see here we have downloaded the rivers as well as basin let us extract the file over here and let me extract the river file too. So in basins, you can see a lot of uh, levels are as there is available from level one to level uh, twelve. And we have also uh, extracted the river shape file. So let us open it in the QGIS. So type, okay. So now you can see here a lot of uh, levels is being given for the hydro uh, basins. So let me uh, open each and every file. So it is up to level 12.
and let, let us add it. So you can just see here. So it's way bigger. And let me just uh, unselect the files. You can just see it uh, the level wise. So you can see here we have downloaded the basin file and it has been given for the entire Asia. So you can see there are a lot of uh, levels in this basins. So you can choose the basins appropriate level. For example, you can see for India. So, so now India has been uh, not uh, divided. So Asia has been given as the entire basin. So you can, if you want, you can just uh, go for the next uh, option where you can see you can get, get the India separately. You can uh, get the uh, uh, China uh, separately, basin separately. So likewise, you can just see and check. You can see here. A lot of uh, basins has been given so so micro level basin is also being given so for example let me zoom in so micro level is also being given that is uh, you can say it as watershed so you can see a lot of levels so that will be useful for your uh, analysis or research so Likewise, let us load the reverse shape file. So once again, go to the option layer and here you can find the add layer option. Here you see vector layer. So just browse the data. So you can see here hydro reverse. And now let us uh, open it. So we have added the reverse shape file as well. So let me bring this layer on the top. And and I think now you can uh, visualize this layer. And you can see it more clearly with a different uh, Basin level, you can just see. So let me change the color. You can just check in over here. So you are getting a uh, watershed, micro watersheds, that is, uh, sub watersheds level data is been been uh, given so it is uh, it can be of really a uh, good use so just uh, check it and try it out and you can easily uh, clip this lay you can just easily clip it so that is also easy to do so that can also be done so for example if i want to clip uh, the river file so you can easily do it So let me unselect the, uh, now you can see I have uh, using the level 7. So here, this is a basin. So this is a uh, uh, watershed, sorry, this is a watershed. So I need to extract this watershed. So you can directly select this watershed. For example, you can use the selection tool and you can select this uh, layer. Let me, yeah, let me unselect the river file. I'm selecting it. You can directly click here and you can use the export and you can use the option save selected uh, selected feature as you can directly export the file you can give the file name for it i given the file name you can just change the uh, coordinate system if you want and finally you can just click on the option ok for uh, downloading it or oh, sorry for exporting it so you can see here i have exported it so let me unselect it and you can see here I have successfully uh, exported this file. Now let me bring on the reverse shape file. You can directly clip in. So using the clipping tool. So go to the option vector. Here you can see the geoprocessing tools and select the option clip. 
and here the input layer will be the river file and our uh, overlay will be the uh, uh, watershed which we have selected and if you want you can save it accordingly or you can just save it as a temporary file hit the button run so the clip process has been completed let us see how it looks like so you can see here we have successfully exported the uh, uh, river also you have just used the clip option so likewise you can just uh, uh, do it for do it for your area and you can do some research on it so if you have any doubts please do ask in the comment section goodbye everyone